But I wasn't even going to do no topic on this. You know what I mean? But this is something that needs to be heard. Uh, shout out to the Black Wolf. He the one dropped this on the desk. I seen it. I'm like, I can't believe what I'm looking at right now. Let me go hear what this dude has to say. Now, the first thing I want y'all to know, anytime you got a brother melanated dude up here and he ain't got no damn headline, you already know he not for melanated people, bruh. So let's get into it. It's to a good place. I would examine the racial element of this because there yep. is a racial element. And this is a story about young black men and their inability to treat each other in a humane way. Everybody involved in this on the street level was either 24 to 32 years old. Everybody. It was a group of young black men, five on one. Looked like gang violence to me. It, it looked like what young black men do when they're supervised by a single black woman. And that's what they got going on in the Memphis Police Department. They've elected some uh, or put some black woman in charge of the police force. And we're getting the same kind of chaos and disunity and violence that we see in a lot of these cities that are run by single mothers. In the words of A.L., whoa, oh, big homie, whoa. Oh, what do you mean, single black women? What do you mean, put some woman in charge? What do you mean it's like gang violence? So, let's talk about uh, George Floyd. About the same amount of officers. About three, four of them holding them down. Can't breathe. Foot on the uh, knee on the neck. You know, what was they raised by uh, single white women? Would it have been a difference if they was raised by single white women? Like, how you just going to straight throw single black women under the bus as if they don't struggle enough? Or maybe it's because you like white women only. That's what it is. We can tell by your fucking hairline. Oh, you don't believe me? Hairline. Round. No hairline. There ain't no black person got no hairline like that. No real black person got hair like that. Oh, yeah? Another one? Hold up. Look at this guy. Point example. Oh, you need another one, huh? Okay. All right. Well, what about this guy? Love the white women. No hairline. Mm. Okay. Still need another one, huh? What about that one? My case in point. White women with black dudes equals nigga no hairline. Boy, I tell you. I mean, I just sent Ayo this not too long ago. Once you get to a certain position, I mean, they send your own kind in there to come get you out of there. Critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You're the only one I heard say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative and you're being negative. And I, 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 met, I met the mayor. Right. And nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. We we, we talked about George Chevallo, who was a legend in your city, great man, with whom Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, yeah. highs and lows. It's so interesting that you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. That's, nah, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, we're we're doing we're doing live TV. Man, now. I don't care. What are you gonna do about it? All right, you got a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot of people we are. Are where it comes there. raw and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of people the be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. All right. It's a Broadway production. It went to Vegas. It went to actually 28 cities in the United States. And we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this? Or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. It's more nerve-wracking for me here is talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, Mike. No, because you're a piece of shit. All right. You really have to we're gonna, we're, we're, shit. We're going we're gonna to wrap up this interview. Well, thank, you for, to thank you for coming in. Fuck you. You know, and this is a perfect example. You know, Memphis, if y'all ain't know, Memphis uh, chief of police is a woman. 
So he's basically saying the chief of police is a single black woman and she don't know how to handle her children, which is these officers right here. Now, I know you like, well, what does that have to do with what's going on? Well, this gentleman defended a white girl because LeVar Ball got on her ass about how he parented his kids. Then he said, goes on their defense and says we got to stop racially dividing okay well if that's the case then why would you say single black women and then cough repeat single black women and then try to say single women as if you're trying to cover yourself up because you knew that you said single black women was a racial division that's why well, let's get into this video media people over twitter Please stop and think. We're being racially divided for no reason, for the entertainment of people over Twitter and, and Instagram. This needs to stop. Mm, this needs to stop, huh? Okay, but well, this is back 2017 or something like that. I can't remember. This was, this was a couple years back when Ball was just coming out with the big brand and all that crazy stuff. This was back then. Well, we fast forward to now. He not saying that same thing. He's talking about black women. Like what young black men do when they're supervised by a single black woman. And that's what they got going on in the Memphis Police Department. They've elected some uh, or put some black woman in charge of the police force. And so what changed that fast? Mm. Maybe it's the fact that this lady that he's defending is a white woman and, you know, he possibly wants to get on the good graces of this white woman or possibly get on the good graces of white women, period. And, you know, hopefully get some. Because we, if we look at this fool right here, we can clearly tell he ain't like that. Well, how you know he ain't like that, Chop? You ain't, you can't even tell. You over there doing a video. Well, all right. Well, let's let's look at this next pick. I ain't even finna break down this one. I ain't even finna break down this one. We we could all tell from this picture right here. This nigga do not get none, bruh. And if he does, he's definitely escort. Back paging, you know what I'm saying? He's getting the bottom of the barrel, the low tier, the ones that if you got some money, I, I got you. He ain't really finding no real woman, bro. Stop it. The swag says it all. Come on, chop. You, you hate a chop. Stop, stop that phone with these shit, chop. All right, well. If you don't believe me, well, let's further go down the rabbit hole then of Jason Whitlock. Ain't this the same fool that said he like beating off for 30 minutes? Oh, no, my boy. You not beating off to like, I'm old, so I'm Jada Fire, Jasmine Cashman, you know, the old pinky. You know, you, Brittany Renner? Really? Brittany Renner, that's who you decide that you're going to spend a half an hour of your time looking at and beating off to Brittany Renner. All right, my guy. Hey, so don't tell me I sound crazy when I say this fool probably never been with no black woman or real black woman or or know anything about a black woman, he could clearly see he likes white women. This, that's all his preference is. So for him to say that, you already know he he wasn't with with us from the beginning. Look at it. Look how happy he looked around all these white women. Crazy. The problem ain't, ain't with the single black woman. The problem is y'all motherfucking melanated people don't know what side y'all want to rock on. Y'all don't know if y'all want to rock on this side or you want to rock on this side. But you can't play. You can't straddle the fence. 
get, when you straddle the fence, then you get done like this brother that's laying on the ground, get snatched out the car. Oh, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? Oh, I'm not doing anything. No, it doesn't matter if you're fucking doing anything. Get your fucking ass on the ground. Lay the fuck down. Don't say shit. Had you not said shit, then you would have been straight. Y'all keep thinking that. It means because y'all be around a lot of white people and you know a lot of white people and they they accept you into their little club or whatever or their little party or whatever. And like, y'all think y'all can be one of them. Y'all not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you are melanated, you have to go by the laws that they are telling you. That is simply plain. The first time you disagree with what they're saying, this is what's going to happen. In this situation, you was outmanned and outnumbered. This is ain't no time you want to sit there and try to fight and do all, try to please your case, just go with the flow, get the fuck out of there, come home safe like A.O. said. This brother right here, he don't want to stand that. This is a little house phone, Nokia phone from Adam22, no jumper ass nigga right here who going to motherfucking be the main one praising the white cops for doing, oh, he doing what they, they just doing their job. They just doing their job. But then when it's, when it's the black police doing the same thing as the white police, oh, yeah, it's because they're gangsters and it, they was raised by single black women and all this other stuff. Man, fuck out of here. I made card shot. This is Always Carry a Gun Podcast. I'm out. Like what young black men do when they're supervised by a single black woman. And that's what they got going on in the Memphis Police Department. They've elected some uh, or put some black woman in charge of the police force. And we- Boy, you was chasing down signs. Uh, I was shady counting mine. Trade nigga don't play nigga. Got a little bro with his way bigger. Small nigga named Ray nigga. Got big guns. He a straight hitter. Hell a nigga that's down the ride. Three, seven, I'm-